Good morning. I'd like to uh, introduce you to our new uh, family of smooth technology. The control we're looking at here is the Mazatrol Smooth X, which is our control for full five axis simultaneous machining. It's part of a family of smooth controls. It also incorporates Smooth G for four axis simultaneous machines and our compact control Smooth C for aimed for mass production. So the control is a touchscreen operation. The menu has been designed around the typical application and daily routine of the operator. So for example, managing the machining cycle, writing and editing new programs, managing the tool data, adding new tools in, setting the tool life, and also the setup of the machine. Each process has a home screen. So we're looking at the machining home screen now. And it's designed to relay a snapshot of information so you can see critical parts of the operation immediately. A very nice function here though, is to monitor five machines to make a six machine cell. I have different machines in different parts of the factory and I can see the condition of the machines immediately from this one screen. It also shows the power in real time that's being drawn by the current operation. So we can see the CO2 outage, we can see the power being drawn. We can also check for a component to see how much power is being used. It also provides statistics so we can see how much power we're using day by day or week by week. Let's have a look at the detail now of writing a program. So from the home screen, you can access the shortcut into the program screen. Now we're looking at the Mazatrol program here. And immediately what you see is a graphic area, the program list, and then a simple unit list on the side. Once we enter data about the program, what you see is a model shown here. So the model represents the material shape. If we were to add more data in, for example, a hole into the material, it immediately reflects that hole size onto the material. And if you make a mistake, you can undo and you can redo back to the original condition. The great thing about this though, is this series here of design is interactive and associative features. And if I choose the drilled hole, it automatically finds the position in the program for the drilled hole. We can then do a tool path and you can automatically reproduce the path of the tool. That's looking at a Mazatrol program. One of the great features about uh, our control is you can program easily in Mazatrol, conversational language, or also in G-code. And here you see immediately the shape of the tool path. So the tool path is constructed of micro segments of program, thousands and thousands of blocks of coordinate data. What we can do though is to choose a point on the feature by pressing it and automatically then that hyperlinks to the point in the program. It makes it very easy then to edit directly data or change that position of the program. Sometimes when we machine the components, the result of the surface comes from the CAM data. So we can also interrogate the CAM data in terms of the points calculated to see the effect on the shape. So we have a function called analyze. We can analyze the uh, toolpath in terms of the number of points, uh, the distance between the points, and also the, uh, the rotary axis. So very quickly, we can set a tolerance by using these sliders. And then according to the tolerance we set, we can see the result on the surface. So again, what this means is very quickly, you can check the integrity of the coordinate points, meaning that you can save valuable time from machining and also saving to scrap components. Mazatrol Smooth features a number of advanced functions. One of those functions is called Smooth Machining Configuration. So from the Apps Manager, we can launch this Smooth Machining Configuration. This function allows you to fine tune the performance of a CNC machine tool according to the operation. Let's take, for example, a five axis machining cycle where you require speed for roughing, you require accuracy for finishing, or smoothness of shape to control the quality of the surface. I can see the result of cutting time, the result of the smoothness of the shape, and also the accuracy. Beneath that, I have three sliders, a bit like the graphic equalizer on an audio equipment. As I change the acceleration, I can see the effect taking place on the cutting time. This makes it very easy for a user to fine tune the performance of the machine. The SmoothX control really is a revolution in terms of uh, the way in which we engage with the CNC. It's not only about the performance that we see in terms of operation, but it's also in terms of the performance of the machine. 